Hello guys again and welcome back to another unboxing, reviewing and testing and today is all about gaming mouse. I have this Razer Death Adder V2 Mini, 62 gram ultra lightweight ergonomic design. Its smaller form factor is designed for small to medium hand sizes and is versatile enough to accommodate most grip styles. We have a Razer optical mouse switch. The switch is in this small ergonomic gaming mouse actual with an industry leading response time of 0.2 milliseconds. That is amazing. Definitely it is for gamers. Razer Speedflex Gable has a greater flexibility and is designed to produce minimal drag so that you can perform quicker. Power it by Razer Chroma RGB with a 16.2 million colors countless patterns, dynamic in-game lighting effects, experience full RGB customization and deeper immersion with a world's larger lighting ecosystem for gaming devices. Sold more than a 10 million units. Okay. Razer logo here. 8500 DPI optical center for precise tracking. Mouse grip tape included. Onboard memory profile for personalized settings wherever you go. Razer optical mouse switch for actualization at the speed of light. Eliminate unintended double clicks, 7 million click durability, 3 faster than the mechanical switches. Well, nice all that. Let's open to see what we have inside. Install it, of course, to my desktop and try out to see how it works. And inside, of course, we'll get some manual. If you want to read this, your choice. Oh, we'll get a Razer logo. I like it. Stick it at your desktop. You know you've got a Razer product. We've got these mouse grip tapes. Oh, nice cable. I like it. Green color. Color of the Razer product. And here we are. It is mini. I have big fingers. <laughs> Definitely. I like it. Cable, it is about two meters. Perfect. I like it. Feels very durable. We've got six programmable buttons. I can say it feels very well to my fingers. Fully configurable via the Razer Synapse 3. The mouse has two side buttons on its left and one next to the scroll wheel, giving you access to macros and secondary functions. So every action can be executed with easy way. Nice. I like it. At the base, we've got, uh, as you can see, 8500 DPI, the logo. We've got these nice rubbers, I like it, white, around the optical sensor. Okay, now let's install in these stickers. Goes at this side the first. Nice, fits perfectly. And of course, that uh, this side are the bottoms. Nice. I like it. Like it how it feels. My figures. And I think that should go here. Yep. Perfect. Now we're talking. <laughs> nice. Oh, I like how it fills my fingers. Yep. Now it feels bigger, but I like it. Well, let's connect it to my desktop and find out all the settings and how we can use it. Now let's plug it in. 
Oh, we've got some white. Yep. And there is the device Razer Death uh, Adder V2 Mini. We've got standard, hyper shift, customize, performance. Here you can choose sensitivity. You can do by sliding the cursor or you can choose stage one to five. <laughs> so slow. Oh, so fast. Number of states, 5, and of course it goes 8,500, too much. You can adjust if you choose one of the states and adjust. Here we are okay. The frequency you can choose from 125 to 1000. Adjusting the frequency of which the device will report back to the PC. Okay. We've got add, import, rename, duplicate, export, lighting. Let's check the lighting effects. We can see here the brightness. Well, this part, it is only the light effects. Add the riser logo. Switching off, switching on. And you can adjust the brightness, of course. Perfect. Zero to 100%. Swift of lighting when display is turning off. When idle for minutes. Okay, and you can choose the minutes. Okay. Calibration. You can add a surface. You can choose one of these products from Razer and calibrate. Okay, well, we've got an advanced effects and quick effects. Spectrum cycle, audio, color boost, breathing, random colors, and there you will have uh, random colors. Reactive, short, long, in any buttons, when you are pressing buttons, it will react. Okay, spectrum cycle, and there you will have a randomly color changing. Static, only one color, or you can choose red if you want, your favorite color, and it's changing. Breathing, random, and you will have random colors. Nice. You can do a profiles, link it games, add from your desktop or your laptop. Mouse, scroll, add the standard. Let's see uh, the hyper shift, and here you can change the scroll, scroll down this button. It is the DPI as you are pressing, is changing the DPI, the middle button, mouse function. Sensitivity, indoor device, requires a razor synapse, okay. Switch profiles, launch a program, multimedia. Definitely you can do many adjustments of these programmable buttons. When you are using the hypershift mode, you've got extra two buttons, eight total, for adjustments. On standard, you've got only six, as you can see. I like when a product gives you so many options to adjust to your needs, of course. It is your choice how you want to adjust. Now let's make a test for my mouse. 
Oh yeah, up and down. Fast response. Mouse rates test start. We've got a fast response. Perfect. Mini gaming mouse, but yet so powerful. If that is for gaming or on your everyday activities at your desktop or laptop. In my case, I will use it on my laptop because it is a mini mouse. It is lightweight and more portable when you are traveling. Have it at your back with your laptop. If you are a fan of Mini Mouse, I think it is a great choice, just buy it and use it wherever and whenever you want. It is a riser product and definitely it will last enough. It costs about 25 to 35 euros, it depends the store. And I like this illumination that it has with the logo. And combine it with this uh, tape grip, definitely it gives a next level touch and it looks better. Well guys, that was all about. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, it takes only one second, press the subscribe button and done, share this video, you never know who may need it, and hit the notification bell because more videos in the future are coming and you don't want to miss it. Have a nice and lovely day, bye bye.